All right, one of the wilder endings to a game you will ever see. Absolute chaos throughout this one. So it's all going to start off with a 59-yard uh, field goal attempt in the pouring rain. I mean, this is a field goal attempt that, like, you got to try it. But, I mean, you're not feeling good about it if you're Philadelphia. They had a couple penalties that kind of put them in this position on 4th and, and 17 here. As you see, though, Jake Elliott going to make one of the better kicks uh, of the season, one of the better kicks you'll ever see in NFL history. It goes through. It was a line drive kick because no way you're going to get it, uh, you know, high enough uh, and far enough. You got to kind of choose one or the other. Uh, incredible stuff by Jake Elliott to cause this game to go to overtime. Although, it's worth mentioning, there was still 20 seconds left at this point. Sean McDermott and the Buffalo Bills with 20 seconds and a timeout elected to take a kneel down. A bit of a curious decision, in my opinion. I mean, you could have had a, an opportunity to essentially just throw a Hail Mary now, right? Throw a Hail Mary not toward the end zone, but, you know, try to get it 50 yards down the field and get a field goal, you know, attempt of your own. There is obviously a risk factor. I don't know. My argument has kind of always been that I feel there's a better chance something goes right than something goes wrong, but they feel good about how they're playing. They decide to go to overtime. And that decision almost worked out perfectly because they got to this point. Third down and seven, just outside the red zone. They won the coin toss, the all-important coin toss in overtime. Uh, it's going to actually be Gabe Davis with a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the top of the screen. No, no help. This is, uh, you know, if Gabe Davis can win this matchup, he can win the game. As you see, Gabe Davis does win this matchup. He gets wide open, but Allen throws it towards the, uh, you know, really Gabe Davis is right. Gabe Davis runs towards his left. A bit of a communication thing cost them the football game. I mean, if they were on the same page there, they make the catch. They, you know, walk it off and they're celebrating beating a team that had the best record in football. This play must have had every single uh, fan in Philadelphia's heart stop. Looks like a fumble. I thought it was a, I thought it was a fumble when I saw it live. I thought that he fumbled it. That was going to be the game. But you look at the replay going over here. It's the, you know, what is a catch, right? We love a good what is a catch controversy. I paused it right here. So this is when he has possession and two feet are down. What you have to do is have two feet down and then make a football move. That's what you need. You need to do something from this point before losing possession of the ball. However, Brown really loses possession of the ball immediately after that. So I, I agree with the call. I think it was not a fumble. I think it was an incomplete pass. It was close. It was very close, but ultimately, I think that that was the correct call. The Eagles stay alive. They convert the third down. They get to this point, which again, down three points because the Bills did score a field goal. So you have to make sure that you, you know, at least get some points, but you want to win it right here because if you don't, you know, less, it would probably be less than two minutes at that point. If you don't get a uh, first down, you're probably either losing the game with the Bills getting a field goal or getting a tie. Don't want that situation. Watch as Jalen Hurts takes the snap, and it's a fake towards the, you know, kind of fake as though it's going to be played towards the right, and you see how many Bills players have gotten over in that direction. This is just the value of a Russian quarterback. You get extra plays on the playbook, also the uh, value of having Jordan Mailata because of the block he's making. He's doing an incredible job, and the value of Jalen Hurts running uh, and being able to accelerate incredibly well. Uh, kind of a weird play by the corner, I have to say. Kind of got to go for that one a little bit more, I feel like. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, that's just kind of how I read it. But either way, incredible win by the uh, Philadelphia Eagles to move to 10-1. They are legit. There's no doubt about it. Crushing blow for the Buffalo Bills.